Hello everyone, Prince Crew here, and welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Brothers. Last time, we experimented with the blue shell uh, power-up, finally, and tied up some loose ends in World 1 because of it. Now, we can go into the first ghost house, or boo house, in New Super Mario Brothers. Has some classic Super Mario World aesthetic for music. Also, right off the bat, they're going to warn you that, hey, it's a ghost house, they're going to mess with you. Now, this ghost house, I guess this is the gimmick of the ghost house right here, these stairways. If the stairs are if the stairs are up, no problems whatsoever. If the stairs are down, it's a slick surface that you cannot cross. Ah, ah, ha, 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 ha. Go away. So, something I will make you wary of, because it is a ghost house, there are going to be multiple exits and fake exits. As the new Super Mario Brother games have gone on progress, they become even more tricky to, to complete. With that knowledge intact, I say knowledge intact, with that knowledge available to you, know that I'll be trying to go for everything here. And door. I'll be trying to go through, I'll be trying to get everything, but. These are long. These are gonna be long levels simply because I don't remember anything about them. Also, anything you hear a boo chuckle, that means there is a boo. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if you're just gonna give one to me. Also, assume boos are. In oh wait, hold on. Can I get a boomerang star here? No wait. Okay. Let's do this. Boo, come this way, please. They're gonna, uh, boos are a lot more, like, this is obviously a 2D sprite, you can just tell by looking at it, where Mario is 3D, grossly 3D for no reason. Can I go up? I can go up. Koopa Shell, say, good, say goodbye to all your worries with this. Also, is this another, oh, this is another cannon exit. Okay, well, I don't need to run the whole way for this, because now I got it. Oh no, this is a coin. That's the last coin. That's upsetting. That is actually upsetting. It means I might have to go back to the start of the level. Or not. <laughs> um, ah. I'm, that's the normal exit. The game says that's the normal exit, but that's also coin three. I'm confused. This is why ghost houses suck. Because in order to complete them, you usually have to do them two or three times. So I'm not going to cut anything, because this is still like the normal ghost house issue. I'm going to leave that, actually. I'm going to use this. Sh I'm going to abuse this shell. I'm going to abuse it. And we climb. <laughs> Who gives a crap about, about stairways? Okay, I'm going to stop. Stop. Go back, Mario. I'm going to need you to go in this door. Um... Okay, that's a power-up. That's a boo. And I'm just gonna go in the door. Leave that power-up be. It can live there. It's its, it's its own man. It pays bills. Okay, now that we're here, let's actually go in this door. Seeing a, a lot a lot of later games, the thing that they played around with is the, f the fact that... Oh, I had to do that. And now we take care of them the fun way. But anyway, um, a lot of later ghost houses in new Super Mario in the newer Super Mario Brothers games, newer as in like you know Wii U and whatnot, you know they they play around with the fact that you're oh I have to go up there. Okay. Uh, those ones do play around with the fact that you're you know that. A lot of times people just go to the first door they see. So, in that sense, because you get tricked to go in the first door you see, a lot of times you you just get screwed out of anything special within that ghost house. So I guess I unintentionally went to the secret exit. Wait, I, I remember this. Hold on. Hold on, I want to say... Okay, I can master this. Okay, let's go. Dang it, it acts as like normal stairs. 
I'm gonna go back a bit, because I think there is a doorway that spawns further back that takes you to the cannon. So let's do it. Dang it. Okay, I can do it like this. I can just cheap it. So, let's test my theory then. So if we go backward... No. I guess not. Alright, hold on. Let me just get back up here. I really thought... I really thought I had figured it out. I guess not. You know, I never did go to the left here. What is... Oh, I did go to the left. Wait, 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 wait. Why would it be... Okay, you know what? Might be cracking a code here. Yes, he says, I've spent too much time in this level. If I screw up enough, I'll... Oh, now I'm just becoming a madman. Oh, god damn it, that was it. You know, I need to take a hit from something. I need to get rid of this shell. It is ruining everything. So there it is. There's how you're supposed to get... That's how you're supposed to get the secret exit. Is they have hit it in here... But they made it only triggerable off of one of these question mark switches. So the whole idea is pop a button, jump up and over, get over here, and in. Oh god, that's like a picture perfect timing thing. <sighs> but with that, you come here to the secret exit that has access to the cannon. Ah! <laughs> Actual frustration. Hear it roar. So, there's your World 3 cannon. Now I'm paranoid. Sorry, I gotta check something really quick. I just, I thought like, there, there, oh, there's a cannon in World 2. Oh, but I already got it. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting paranoid in my own surroundings. Anyway. So let's head to the castle finally, please, if I may, in a matter of speaking, if I could, please. Ooh, ooh, ooh! You should never say ooh about something that large and penetrating. Ha <laughs> ha, that's why you never say ooh in the first place. Because people can take that out of context. Anyway, obvious gimmick for this level, spikes. Spikes. Hit. Okay, oh, what? Why'd you keep going? Why'd you keep going? You you were you were amazing. You were outstanding. You had everything you wanted. Money, power, wealth. The letter Q. And then you wasted the letter Q, too. And then you wasted the letter Z. You just threw out the whole outfit. Now you're trying to make sentences with, with nothing but hieroglyphs and your own wit. Did I just compare loss of power-ups in, in, in a Super Mario Bros. game to illiteracy? Might need help. Like, s serial help. I need some Captain Crunch in my life. You know, these are this is just a series of terrible jokes that's going to keep going on until somebody stops me. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. Alright. Chillax. Broham. Chillax. Yep. Alright, fantastic. Let's go. And halfway point already. Now, Womps? Are these Womps? Or I think they're Womps. I always get Womps and thw Thwomps names backwards, but I know what they are. So how they work is they'll slam. If you ground pound on them, you kill them. Just like Super Mario 64. This is the... And Super Mario 64 DS was the game that came out right before this game, so that's how you're supposed to know to do that. But... Oh. Um, am I not supposed to, am I, I'm supposed to be able to, like, jump off this, right? I guess not. Oh, I go up and above, that's why. Sorry, I'm being dumb. I wasted two free hits off of that. You're supposed to go left, or you're supposed to go left here, which lets you go up above the level, which gets you here. He gives you safe landing, and then you can just proceed as normal. And you're supposed to go with this guy into stomping down. To give yourself a little bit of a platform to jump on. Ta-da! It's like you knew what you were doing the whole time. You don't know what you're doing, do you? What well, comes after three? 
two. Oh, well. And here we were hoping you'd be bright. I see we were horribly mistaken in putting all of our trust funds in you and your intelligence, or lack thereof at this point. Now that's supposed, I think this is supposed to be your hint for something. Um, maybe not? I don't know, I haven't seen a third star coin, I'm panicking. Oh, and I'm also dead. Fantastic. I'll meet you back over here. Oh, there it is. It's behind it. Well, I wish we would have known that well ahead of time. I could have actually done something about this. Except I'll just be risky about it, holy cow. Stop letting me play the, stop letting me play the game of risk. I'm too good at it. Too good at risk, guys. World champion risk player. To hell with what dice say. Oh, right, this boss! So this boss is something that I think is really like a very, very not experimented feature of... It's a giant cheap cheap, effectively. Okay, you gonna jump at me, buddy? Nope, your friend's gonna jump at me. Oh, I forgot the ground pound. And I'll be back once again. Oh. You can go under the water. Well, actually, we're going to run an experiment here, then. Nope, it's not the case anymore. <laughs> Hold on, let me just ruin out, let me just ruin this perfect boss run by uh, being stupid. How about that, huh? Anyway. Hi, Junior. I'm back. And this time I can take a hit. Anyway. Giant Chief G boss, I was saying, it's, it's something that I don't think a lot of games really mess around with is that you know, it's a land to sea battle. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's try this again. Got him. The grandpa really makes short work of enemies in this game. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and with Junior's constant yelling, because that's all he knows, his volume levels are whisper and yell. He has no in between. No regulation. We we get introduced to the ice world. Which, this ice world is not too bad in this game, but future ice worlds in New Super Mario Bros. games, hell. Anyway, so even though we're introduced to the ice world, we're not going here. We're instead going to go to the soda jungle. Which that'll be the topic for our next video. So everybody, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play New Super Mario Brothers, And come back next time for jungle shenanigans. Shenanigans. I'll see you folks then.